which doesn't really help my uh, math. However, what we'll be looking at here is what level of nitrogen is in the field currently. <coughs> you should probably have turned right there. You should probably make a farm track there. Because this one's a little bit tight. I'm pretty sure getting the uh, harvester in here is not going to be a fun deal. Anyway, I'll drive onto the field. I think I might have to open it. Nope. Okay, doing what I'm doing will raise it from where it is to 65. Um, is it K? Yes, 70, 75, 80. Uh, let's go 85. So want to uh, let's see control S auto width um, A heading ninety set A zero nine zero enter back try forward and think The way. Take the line over until the little blue line suddenly appears in the hedge. There we go. Okay. So this thing has a awesome um, spread width. And what I might do is just go from here. Oh, did I not unfold it? Thought I did. There we go. And we are throwing the poop. So the fence nearly empty, as expected. But now here you can see there's a much better contrast between the white and the brown which is why I do the line first, then the manure. Plus the line supposedly um, reduces the acidity of the manure that you're spreading. So again, another fun deal there. And I'll have to come back and fill in the gaps, but Actually, we're getting quite a uniform spread here, which uh, is interesting. Normally, when you spread manure products on a field, it gets very um, blotchy. It's not a very even spread, but um, this is looking surprisingly even. I'll just have to drive back over bits of the field to fill in the gaps. We're already 40% down, or 60% down. Eh, it's about, it's not quite halfway. So we are going to have at least two trips here, possibly three. Probably three. And I'm going to have to go and get the, uh, the fence reloaded as well at the same time. I think for the most part the applicator is fairly well controlled so I can drive over bits we've already done and it won't overlay 
this is nearly empty and we are done. So, take this back to the farm. Let's raise our sights a little. And again, the manure wagon was a very good buy. This tractor does, doesn't quite have the horsepower for it. I wonder if a tract tractor would work. So something like the big case, not the quad track, but the one with uh, twin tracks on the tail. I think you can do that with a New Holland T8 as well. Put tracks on the back. We do struggle. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, let's take you there. And that's filling up. And really, you got that far. That's imp I'm, I'm impressed. Um, I knew we weren't going to do all the field with 2,000 litres, but my goodness, we've just got that corner over there and that corner over there and across the top and across the bottom. Um, probably do that. I'm going to think we can do that in about 5,000 litres of uh, white stuff. And, uh, I screwed that up a bit. <laughs> All the traffic arrived at the same time. Okay, so we'll buy 5,000 litres of lime. I guess... Uh, we'll get this one back in the field and working um, before I go back to the manure spreading. And once this is finished, we're, we're done spreading stuff. So yay for that. Open the tank, jump out. 5,000 litres, please. 2,000 litres, please. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, refill. Yes, do that. And... Why have I got 2,219 litres in there? Did I really? Oh, because, yes. I really did have um, some left over, just not enough. Okay, the rest of this field, I don't think I can do it with a worker now. So, uh, I'll finish this off manually. We'll go back to the John Deere, which I don't think I turned off. So, uh, probably should have done that. Still. Nearly time for the rain to stop. And slow down and go. So. I think surprisingly enough, after all of the hassles I had this last week with you know, the map getting updated, the hedges respawning, the trees respawning, the houses respawning, and uh, the, uh, the bale snakes going off on a Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man rampage across the map. We've kind of recovered quite well and got back on the time to expand the farm trick, which is uh, an exceptionally good deal. 
all things considered. Should I have put more than 2,000 litres in here? Oh, that's going to be an interesting question, isn't it? Well, I've only used 800 so far, and we've got quite a bit spread so Doesn't look too bad over there. This bit's going to be fairly mild as well. If I'm really lucky, we'll use it all up exactly. If I'm really unlucky, I'm going to have a patch of ground that has absolutely no lime in it whatsoever. Wage payments. I paid somebody to do things. Oh, yeah. Lime spreading and rock spreading. And... The food robot's doing food robot-y things, it should be, because it's two o'clock. Six hundred litres! Five hundred litres! Yay! We can turn that off and get a little bit more speed out of this thing. So yeah, as I said, this was going to end up. I mean, you look at the field. We did 2,000 litres and we did so much of this field. I think it was 2,000 litres in the tank. And uh, thus, 2,000 litres for the rest of it. Mm, kind of okay. Two and this bit here probably not going to register. No. Alrighty, that was the lime project for the day. Now there are lime contracts that we can do. Obviously not too many right now. I'm a little bit bemused by that field. Why couldn't I? Oh, you know what I think? Um, it couldn't pick rocks because of the field state. Um, the worker is very picky about, picky about when it does uh, rock picking and other things. If... Uh, if you do something, if you've got a field that has a requires um, ploughing state, but the state of the field is um, ploughed, you can't use a worker to plough the field to get rid of the needs ploughed state. Um, you can do it manually. But the worker looks at the field and says, this field's already ploughed, why do you want me to do it again, type of thing. So, we're going to drop that off. Hello? Ah, buttons. Go. Oh, and then we're going to drive forwards. Actually, I'm going to use the John Deere to haul the rocks, just because that's where it all happens. Stick that in there, turn that off, jump over to the John Deere, and I did leave the engine on, because I'm bad. The Mihiwa car is the wrong angle. I'm going to drive on the grass, it doesn't matter. The grass is dead for the year. And the feeding robot is... I guess we missed him. He's done. If he was doing anything. Let me check. Um, yeah, he used 6,000 litres of mineral feed and there is now... 
495,000 litres of food in the trough. So that should last the cows for Christmas. At least that's my reckoning. And this is the over 500 horsepower version of the R8R. R8R. And still struggles with this amount of manure. So, uh, yeah. I think I will cut through here just because it's a little bit easier. And that is my row. So, that on, that open, let's go drive. And start. Okay, so. Nitrogen is definitely looking better on this field. As I said, I'm not. We're going to be planting sorghum. I don't know what uh, nitrogen level sorghum requires, so we're going to have to plant that in spring. Um, we have to come back with the sprayer anyway to do the uh, crop sensors and spraying deal, which I can't do with manure. At least I don't think I can. Uh, we'll see where that lands us in the end. I'm going to go around the outside here, tidy up all the bits. And we're not getting a higher nitrogen concentration driving over the bits I've done, although it is using up manure. the way we came. I'm not sure what the little red dots deal is. But I think that's... I'm going to call that it's probably okay. Um, it's just... Oops. Missed a bit. And... Hopefully it will, yeah. Bigger the tractor, generally the better it is gaining the track. Um, the problem with smaller tractors, because they turn harder, they, uh, they can end up just tacking across the path you want and not following the line. Another reason why I don't generally put... Um, GPS on a small tractor. So going ahead across the top here, which we are struggling. How are we doing? Eight thousand liters. Not good. thousand liters left and little patches of white ground to cover. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh. Okay, so we'll see how far we get with five thousand seven hundred liters of manure. And it 
is possible. We might end up doing all of this. I don't think we are. I think we're going to have a tiny little bit at the bottom here and another tiny little bit at the top. Gonna be a tad annoying, but it is what it is. Ugh. Four, three, two, one, we are empty. Yay, two little squares. And the big heavy wheels on the John Deere are definitely not doing the uh, weeds a lot of good. Okay, so, well, I mean, that said, we are going to have some income over the next few days. We'll have the milk, um, pretty much milk tomorrow, milk every day during December. We will have the um, tomatoes and all of the rest of the stuff um, to do... December, January, February, and then we'll be into March and moving on to uh, new things again. Okay, get that refilled. Okay, so back down there, the last two bits. And then we'll turn GPS off and I'll take this over to the other field. Might let the worker loose. The worker may do a little bit more efficient spreading because they turn it off when they're turning around and I tend to forget to do that. <coughs> field to our left could do with some uh, fertilizer and that's that's the thing with with the work with the NPC farmers they don't ask for fertilization until there's crop in the field so your opportunities to use manure products is quite substantially lessened however um, part of the argument I've got is since there's nothing growing, it's all just um, dirt at the moment, I'm going to spread manure on the field just because we're not going to get manure all over the leaves and stuff. Okay, and here we are. Turn that on. about a thousand liters thousand five hundred liters to do that bit and this bit might take a little bit longer and here we go oscillating cars driving too fast and the tractor can't recover from that turn okay and this last bit Three, two, one, and go. Uh, don't crash into the tree. Turn off the poop. 90%. How's that look? That looks just awesome. Okay. All that, and back on the road. So I could go back to the yard and fill this up again. The thing is, um, I'm probably having, I've got to go back to the yard anyway, I think. It's gonna take probably two trailers. I can't do this other field in one trailer. 
so all I'm thinking is well let's just go back uh, let's let's just use up what we've got here and then I can fill it again and we'll jump into the Massey Ferguson and get the uh, rocks loaded We'll use about another £2,000 of uh, contractor payments. Before the day's out and maybe have a look at what's on the store sales. So like I said, we've got uh, two days. Um, I kind of think we need to head across the field. And I also think there's a hedge missing there. We'll see. Um, okay. So what I'm suggesting there is, if I go up and down the field, there's quite a drop off that way. If I go across the field, there isn't a drop, or not quite so significant. So the tractor's not going to have issues heading across the field. It is very likely to have issues if I send it that way. Coming back up, it's just going to get upset. So, again, we are looking at... Um, no values detected for the crop. Oh, let's open the door. There we go. So if I put current levels 30. I'm going to drop it. So we want to go. 65 maybe. That hopefully is good. And I will set the worker off on that. There you go. So 65 there. Actually, it looks like there's no... No, it is what it is. Anyway, let's go load the rocks. 